Hey everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Racing. Today I'm going to be talking about the Craftsman 230 piece VersaStack uh, mechanics tool set you see on the bench behind me. We're going to open up, see what you get, and see what kind of value it is. So there it is, it's 230 pieces, uh, both SAE and metric. You get a quarter inch, three eighths, and half inch drive, um, and it's also part of the VersaStack. You can kind of see in the picture there how you can stack it up with other things in that lineup it says it's a 750 dollars value if purchased individually i don't know about all that um these retail for 219 um uh, at lowe's all right so there it is um this is your lock it's lock obviously turn that straight up and down now you can access your drawers so let's uh, go through each drawer and talk about what's in it start at the top here and it's as far out as it comes. There's little stops there. We'll talk about them in a minute. All right, so you get a ratchet of each drive. This is the quarter inch, 72 tooth, quick release. Um, I know Craftsman's not what it used to be. It's now owned by Stanley Black & Decker. Not made in America anymore, made in China. So um, I don't know how these are gonna hold up, but this isn't like a everyday uh, industrial use just for me around the house. Uh, you get um, 16 deep well sockets uh up to a half inch uh five thirty seconds up to a half inch on this side and then four millimeter up to 12 millimeter um same thing here five thirty seconds to a half and you're shallow and then you get up to uh 14 mil on the shallow here you get sae and metric allen wrenches uh 44 of them so there's a good chunk of your 230 and if you can kind of see back there, there's some bits, and uh, something I don't really like about it, you pull it out. Uh, you got to push these two levers down on each side, and I'll show you that here. Oh, yes. Then you pull it out, and you have 66 bits back here. So right there between that and your Allen wrenches, you're over 100 pieces already, and it's a 230-piece kit. That's a lot of people's complaining about. And we go ahead, open up the 3 8 drawer, same thing, 72-tooth ratchet. On the deep sockets, you get anywhere from a 10 through a 17. Uh, you're missing an 11 and a 16, and then... Uh, 3 eighths to 11 sixteenths, uh, similar. I think you get a couple more uh, shallow sockets. And again, there's stuff in the back. So we're gonna push the tabs down and see what's in the back of it. In the back of that drawer, you just get uh, three um, SAE for uh, metric hex sockets. So that's back there as well. Bottom drawer, half inch, obviously the ratchet, small extension. And you'll, you do only get uh, six uh, half inch drive sockets. Your wrenches are in here, something I don't like, so I need that wrench. So let's pull this. Whip the drawer out, it works fine. So you get four standard wrenches, four metric wrenches there. And here you get six uh, SAE seven metric. These are your. Uh, some call them midget wrenches. We'll dump these out. Give you so there's all your tiny wrenches in there. It goes anywhere from a four up to an eight on the metric side, and then it looks like uh, five thirty seconds up to five sixteenths on the SAE side. So I guess to use any of these drawers, it's best to pull them out if you need what's in the back. If you're going to use the wrench, pull them out. All right, so that's going to wrap up our video on the 230-piece Craftsman uh, VersaStack Mechanics tool set. Um, like I said earlier, it retails for $219. Do I think it's worth that? Probably not. So why did I buy it? It was on sale for $100. I picked that up for $100 for that price. It's a nice little set to have around the house. Um, how would they hold up every day, hard use? I don't know. Supposedly, there's still a lifetime warranty on them. But for me, it's just it's a nice household set, you know. Putzing around this garage here, I got to put brakes and change oil in my neon, so it's nice to have something like that. 
Uh, it's also nice, I will say it's nice with the Versa stack. Uh, maybe you don't have a garage. I grew up uh, in a house without a garage. Uh, started working on cars in gravel driveway. So it's nice to be able to keep your tools organized in something like this. You can just keep them in your house, you know, and wherever you keep your tools, it's nice to have them in a box and a place for every tool you have. It is lacking in some aspects, especially, you know, wrenches. I mean, you can pick up a set of wrenches, but um, yeah, it's there, but a lot of people's complaint, and I guess my complaint too, it's 230 pieces and, you know, easily over hundreds like Allen wrenches and uh, bits, but it's better than nothing. So for a hundred bucks, I think it's a solid deal. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and maybe I'll see you at Lowe's when I break something and I'm trying to see if it gets warranted. Later.